Now ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be working on construction number eight. The number really doesn't matter. What you should know is that this is the construction where we are going to be given a point on a circle. In this case, we have P and A. And we wanna construct the tangent to this circle C at those given points. So the properties that we're going to be using here is the idea of when you have a point of tangency, which A and P both will end up being, because we're gonna draw a tangent at that point, the segment that connects the center to that point of tangency known as the radius is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. So what you'll do is you'll draw a line here that goes from the center of your circle through your point of tangency. And then we know or we want to construct the line that's perpendicular to point P on this line. So you're going to be using the basic constructions that we were using before. So you're going to take your compass and you're going to basically create a segment with P as its midpoint. So you've got P here, taking a compass and you're just choosing some arbitrary length, doesn't matter what you're using. And what we've done is we've created a segment CP that's going to be, congr or sorry, not CP, from this intersection point to P, that's the same as from this intersection point to P. So this is going to be the midpoint of this segment, which means it falls on the perpendicular bisector. So choosing another length that's more than halfway, this is clearly more than halfway, we're going to make an arc above or below, and then do the same from the other intersection point. And now we've created this point of intersection of two arcs that are equidistant from both endpoints, which means that point also falls on the perpendicular bisector of that segment. So being careful to draw a straight line here. This line that I've just drawn here, because it is perpendicular to the point of tangency, or to the radius drawn to a point of tangency, means that this line right here going through point P is tangent to the circle at point P. So to do the process all over again, we're going to draw a line from C through point A, okay? draw a line from C through point A and now we're going to draw a line perpendicular to this line through point A. So using point A as a midpoint we're going to create draw two arcs that are the same distance away from A. Now using those intersections of the line and those arcs find a point that's on the perpendicular bisector A little bit of a perfectionist here, I suppose. Draw a line through point A and that intersection of our two arcs. And this line also is going to be tangent to circle C, but in, th in this case at point A instead of point P. So again, the idea is that the radius drawn to a point of tangency is perpendicular to your tangent. So we're just drawing perpendicular lines, but in first we need to create a line that goes from the center through the point of tangency and go from there.